How do you know that the person sitting next to you, your best friend, or even your pet has a mind of their own? That they're experiencing thoughts, feelings, and consciousness just like you are? Welcome to one of the most intriguing and puzzling questions in philosophy, though. The problem of other minds asks a deceptively simple question. How can we be sure that other people, or any beings at all, have minds like ours? After all, we can only directly experience our own thoughts and feelings. Everyone else's inner world is hidden, leaving us to wonder, how do we know they have one at all? This question isn't just abstract. It touches on how we connect with others, trust our relationships, and even how we interact with technology and AI. Our experiences are deeply personal. When you feel pain, taste your favorite food, or hear music, these sensations are uniquely yours but you can't directly access someone else's experiences. You can only infer what they might be feeling based on their actions and words. This gap between what we experience and what others might experience is at the heart of the problem of other minds. We assume others feel pain when they react like we would, but can we ever truly know? Philosophers have tackled this problem in various ways. One approach is the, it suggests that because others behave like you do in similar situations, it's reasonable to assume they have similar mental experiences. But here's the catch. It's just an assumption. We can't prove it. Some take a more skeptical view, questioning whether we can know for sure that others have minds at all. This line of thinking can lead to the belief that only your own mind is certain to exist. Everyone else, they could be mindless automata for all you know. Language plays a crucial role in bridging the gap between minds. When someone tells you they're happy or sad, you assume they mean it because their words match your own experiences. This shared language gives us a way to connect, but it still doesn't let us peek inside their mind. But what about when we talk to AI? Can we ever know if an AI truly understands us or if it's just mimicking human communication without any real consciousness behind it? In our modern world, the problem of other minds takes on new dimensions. As AI and robots become more sophisticated, we face a new challenge, determining whether these entities have minds or if they ever could. At what point, if ever, would we consider them conscious beings like ourselves? The line between human and machine is blurring, and the problem of other minds is more relevant than ever. Philosophers like Wittgenstein suggest that understanding other minds isn't just about guessing. It's about how we use language and interact socially. Others, like the phenomenologist, argue that our very experience of the world is shaped by our relationships with others, suggesting a deeper shared consciousness. In this view, the problem isn't just about whether other minds exist, but how our minds are intertwined with the world and with each other. The problem of other minds reminds us of the profound mystery of consciousness. It challenges us to consider the limits of our understanding and the nature of our connections with others. Whether we're dealing with humans, animals or AI, the question remains, how do we truly know we're not alone in our experiences? If you found this exploration thought-provoking, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let's keep the conversation going. After all, that's one way we can try to bridge the gap between minds.